Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, quick update, uh, sun this Sunday, um, not going to be a whole lot, but uh, obviously we're doing panels and it's somewhat repetitive, but we're in the process of a couple of things and so uh, I'll go ahead and show you uh, what we're doing. So let's take a look. So um, first place we start is, is that this is uh, one of the door jams and we've actually put the door glass on it. We put a thin layer of that on, we sand it down and then uh, we'll put some body filler on it. Uh, then comes uh, lots of sanding until the panel's nice and flat. And then what we do is we lay down a layer of epoxy and then we put on uh, the carbon fiber after the epoxy gets sticky. And then what we do is we drape the carbon fiber over it, um, try to get the, you know, the pattern as good as we possibly can. It's pretty difficult on a large piece like this. Uh, so we had to do this section and the middle section separately. Then we put a layer of epoxy on the outside of that, uh, let that get tacky, and then we put another layer on. Now, one of the things that I've noticed recently is don't leave it in the sun because then you get a bunch of these little uh, bubbles uh, that come out even after uh, we hit it with a torch to to get some of the bubbles out so what that means is that I'm just gonna have to sand this back down close to the mat um, which is okay because the mat is now saturated so you can actually sand a little bit into it and not completely ruin the look so this will get uh, a couple days of cure and then we'll get on this with uh, some sandpaper um, over here we've got the roof back out of the car and what I've done here is I've masked off all of the carbon fiber areas uh, very carefully and we're doing our little forged carbon look uh, so basically we've got this uh, bag of uh, chopped carbon fiber from uh, Composite Envisions, which is our go-to guys for all of our needs when it comes to composites. And we lay down a layer of epoxy, let it get sticky, and then we put on uh, this stuff. And you just kind of mat it down. You don't need to be too fancy with it. And then what we'll do is we'll start, we'll put a thin layer of epoxy on it, to allow, and the reason we use thin is so that it can get into the areas without uh, causing huge uh, bubbles and whatnot. We'll probably do that a couple of times, uh, then we'll sand it and then we'll put some thick epoxy on it. And uh, hopefully it'll look like the uh, side, engine side scoops that uh, we'll show you here in a minute when we go down to what I'm now calling the beauty room because I've got all of the finished stuff down, uh, down there. But uh, yeah, that's uh, turning out pretty nice. So uh, stay tuned for the results on that one. So before we go into the beauty room, we're back in the 3D printing room and you can see we've got a print going on in here. Um, this is for one of these bad boys. So this is actually uh, the side intake grill. Uh, this went, we had to do a couple of these uh, prototypes before we actually were able to get uh, a one that will fit nicely. Um, I've had one sitting outside in the summer heat. Uh, this is out, made out of ABS, and I've had it sitting outside for six months. Uh, and we've had record uh, temperatures here in August. Uh, so we know, I know that that will survive direct sunlight uh, when it's finished. The idea here is uh, we'll clean it up, we'll uh, shoot it, uh, we'll give it probably an epoxy layer, uh, maybe a thin one, and then we'll shoot it with some 2K. So, um, but for now, we can just put it in raw the way it is. Uh, but uh, yeah, these are, these are looking pretty nice. And now we get to the secret room. No, it's not really that secret. Anyway, this is what I'm calling the beauty room because we've got all of our uh, finished parts in here. So we've got sail panels, the uh, intake scoops for the turbos. We've got both of our uh, passenger and uh, driver quarter panels. We've got the side intake uh, trim there. 
we've got our forged carbon uh, scoops, which actually, you know, it really turned out kind of nice. I, I'm digging the pattern, and that's why you see me doing it on the roof. Now, we did it down here, but we did our own chopped stuff, so it's a little finer and a little harder to see, but this is a lot more uh, dramatic. We got uh, this I showed you before, which is our new uh, uh, cowl uh, insert. It's going to go up there. And then the other thing we did was we got the sail panels done from the side. So those are looking pretty nice. And then we bought uh, some OEM uh, vent scoops. These actually go on this guy right here like this. So you can see these bolt here. These are OEM. Uh, of course, we'll probably strip these down and do them in the forged carbon look. So, so the parts are stacking up. We're um, muddling along. We're going to try to get um, probably as far as I can by the middle of next month because we have our extreme experience uh, event uh, from the uh, 25th through the 27th of September down in Colorado Springs at PPIR, uh, Pikes Peak International Raceway. And we hope to show the car off really nicely. Now, I don't think we'll have, we may not have like the doors and the fenders and the hood uh, and the front fascia uh, finished because uh, I just hate to rush this kind of stuff. And therefore, what we'll do is we'll just, we'll just hit it with some uh, primer that we can sand off uh, relatively easy so that we can uh, at least make it all one color uh, when we're presenting it down there. And of course, we're going to do a video. Xander and I are going to go for a ride in a, a Huracan. And uh, you've seen us do that before up in Aspen, but uh, this will be on actual dry pavement rather than a snow track. So at any rate, um, this is uh, where we're at. So thanks again, everybody, for uh, letting us uh, show you uh, the latest update. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, we'll see you next time.